Hi, in today's video, I'm going to go over what happens after you dispute an order with AliExpress and they decided not to refund you the money, or in my case, they troll you. Okay, so let me just go real quick to my finished dispute. Okay, and right here off the bat, you can see that uh, they say the dispute finished, refund zero dollars. Okay, and now the process that you go to after this is an appeal, which is say, you know, please wait for two to five days. But if you're not shocked, it's been way past two to five working days and I haven't gotten anything from them. Right. So, I mean, once they lie, they just lie all the way, at least they're consistent with their lies. Right. So just to judge, just to you know, show you again. All right. As of January 23rd, 2021, Ali expressed right, proceedings uh, process the pros proposal refund of zero dollars now if that's not trolling i don't know what is okay and january 23rd 2021 aliexpress judgment a refund of zero dollars that's what they propose okay and then over here right here right they will refund me zero dollars all right so that that is that's definitely trolling <clears throat> and you know i what happened is i ordered i ordered a whole bunch of stuff and uh, i never got this battery okay and when you go ahead and you uh, go, you check like <laughs> where the shipment is, let's say if I go to my orders and I, I check where the shipment is, it's it hasn't even left China. Right? It, it's it's ridiculous. So I go to track order. All right, there's <laughs> there's nothing really here, but uh, let me see. Okay, it still it still says it's in China. An estimated delivery time was this is summer fifteenth at the latest. All right, so guys, this is not an online store. AliExpress is a casino, right? And, and and at least in the casino, you have a chance, a chance to get something better than what you order. In this case, you don't even have a chance of getting that, okay? And there is no buyer's protection, all right? So don't don't believe in whatever they say here, all right? <laughs> there there is absolutely no buyer's protection, all right? So. No, actually, they even took it down. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, no, no, it's over here. So here, yeah, here's this money back guarantee that they, they keep promising. We promise your money back if the item ha you received is not as described or if your item is not delivered within the buyer protection period. As I showed earlier, December 15th, yep, they, they definitely didn't ship on time, all right? And I had definitely was within, within my buyer protection period when I ask for the refund and for the dispute all right then they say you can get a refund 15 days after the claim process is finished as you can see they didn't say what kind of refund right a refund of zero dollars is what i got all right this zero dollars right here that, that, that's my refund right <laughs> uh this guarantee is in addition to and does not limit to your statutory rights as a consumer what does that mean as granted by all mandatory laws and regulation applicable in your country of residence yeah, so that doesn't mean anything because if they don't ship it and they don't refund it, what kind of law is there? They know that, right? So that's why they're willing to outwardly troll you like this, or at least troll me like this, All right? And uh, that's what they that's what they put down as a refund for U.S. zero dollars, right? So, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the update. I'm still waiting for my appeal. I'm not even sure if this is going to go through, if this is a joke, uh, if this button goes nowhere. I've already submitted my dispute survey, and uh, you know it, it didn't go anywhere. Okay, so I'll let you know uh, as soon if I ever ever get into anything from this appeal. All right, but as you can see, uh, their refund is of zero dollars. All right, and. I would not, as of right now, I would I would tell everyone to stay very, very clear of AliExpress. Their their prices are cheap for a reason. It's to lure you in, all right, and then to then take your money, right? Delay, 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 right? And they'll start with, "Dear friend, oh, I'm sorry, we sent you the package. Dear friend, the package has been missing. Dear friend," uh, or they just might blow you off completely, okay? And then uh, you know another one they'll say, "Dear friend, we'll resend you the package," right? Or, or dear friend, it's been stuck in customs. Whatever the case may be, don't don't believe whatever they say. <laughs> right? 
Uh, they're just going to delay, 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 take your money, then refund you $0 even after you dispute it. So this is not, this is not like shopping on eBay, okay? You have, no, you have no avenues of protection. And so what does this appeal do? Like, I think I'm probably the only one that's actually gone to this level and, and, and gone to the appeal. And, or, or either that or you know, uh, no one's posted it anything about it because i haven't found anything about the appeal process right so what like what do you do when you dispute something you get refunded zero dollars and i haven't found anything beyond that so i'm making this video for everyone who's in my situation or for anyone who's even considering whether or not they should buy on aliexpress i'm telling you right now don't don't so right now i'm I'm on the appeal appeal process it's way past two to five working days okay I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know if it even works, like if if it's late, if it's delayed, um, and I I really would like if this is information is useful. If you like it, please hit the like button, share this, uh, please like spread the word because I want people to know like this place is a scam. I I don't want people to get ripped off like me. That that is it. There's no affiliate link. There's no hidden int- intentions behind this. I'm not even getting many clicks from this. I just want people to know that AliExpress. It is just an express to way to lose your money, right? So that's it for now. This is uh, Vince from Digital No Man Institute signing off.